This is the TJ Hoisington Podcast. Unleash your greatness within. Hey there, and welcome to the Unleash Your Greatness Within Podcast. I have a powerful customer service story and a reminder for you. You already know. A passion and my mission to help you unleash your greatness within. My heart goes after the underdogs. That's on their way. If you think you can, go from good to great. Okay, let's motivate. Greatnesswithin.com. Oh. Jay Hoisington. Greatnesswithin.com. Oh, if you dream in it, believe in it, work hard for it. And in the process, serve others in a positive way. Think, think you can do it. You see, several years ago, I was asked to give the keynote at an annual customer service event for a company in Cincinnati, Ohio. I was flying from Seattle to Ohio. I was so excited. I had spent hours prepping for this particular speech and so forth. And so I end up getting on a flight on an airline I normally don't fly on. But based on the time and where I was going, there was another carrier that was a better fit for this particular speech. So I'm on this airline and I go to sit down and I'm one row behind the exit row. And I notice that nobody is sitting in the three seats in front of me. So what do you think I do? As I'm sitting there for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I get the feeling they're about to close the door. And the flight attendant was walking by and I kind of gestured for them to slow down for a second, I had a question. And I asked, I said, hey, listen, if nobody is sitting in the seats right in front of me, is it okay if I move from my current seat into one of the seats in front of me? We have a long flight ahead of us, four to five hours or something, I don't remember exactly. It'd be nice because I was sitting next to two men and we were all pretty big guys, if you will. So it was tight. Well, this flight attendant, he said, absolutely. If when the door closes up front and nobody ends up sitting in the seats right in front of you, you are totally welcome to move up. No problem. I said, thank you, sir. I mean, just the quick response of saying yes, right? So I thought, wow, that's really great customer service. Just a can-do, uh, positive attitude. Well, I'm sitting there waiting for that door to close because for sure I'm going to be able to move up in the seat in front of me. Well, the door starts to close. And just before it closes, three people come onto the plane and sit right in those three seats. I was devastated, not really devastated, I was deflated. I was deflated, I was so excited to move up and then I had to sit in this tight seat for the next few hours. Well, the plane took off and so forth and I got thinking about it and here I was gonna go give a speech on customer service and I started to think about different angles of what had just happened. And so we were up in the air. They had already done the drinks and so forth. And I could tell that the flight attendants were sitting in the back of the plane just chatting. So I got out of my seat. I went back to the back of the plane. And I turned to that gentleman who I talked to earlier, the flight attendant. And I said, I've got a question for you. I said, I'm getting ready to go speak at a customer service conference. And... Um, I, I think I might have a new story, but I'm curious from you. Did you know that this was a full flight? Did you know that it was likely that three people were going to sit right in front of me? He looked at me with a little grin on his face. I remember he was sitting in the fold-out seat. He had his phone in his hand. He looked up at me and smiled and said, yes, I knew it was a full flight. I said, but you chose not to tell me no. You instead said yes and then put a condition on it. Yes, if the door closes and nobody sits in the seat, you're welcome to move up. But you knew the whole time that nobody was going to move up. Is that accurate? He said, absolutely. I said, wow, what an amazing customer service skill. I'm going to add this to my speech. I said, where did you learn that? He says, I've been working for the airlines for 22 years. And I learned that you rarely have to say the word no. There's always a creative expression or way 
that you can say no without saying no, right? You can use circumstances to determine the no instead of you being the bad messenger using the word no. Does that make sense? I tell you what, I was inspired. In the moment, I was deflated. But as that trip went on and I sat there and I thought, now I have a new story in my quiver, let me tell you something. I was amazed by the skill of that flight attendant who just, it was powerful to me. And I shook his hand and I said, nice job. I see the vision and what you're doing. Wow. Right? He wasn't the bad guy. Circumstances, law, if you will, was the bad guy in that situation. And I'm just here to tell you, if you're, I, it could be a teacher, it could be a pastor, it could be a leader, it could be a parent. Why don't we make our first answer yes, if this, this, and this work out, absolutely, right? What's so hard about that? Maybe it takes an extra two brain cells to come up with something creative instead of say, no, that's, ex that you know, that's, um, that's an exception to the rule. We don't allow that here, right? Those are all negative phrases that leave people feeling negative. But what you in the world we live in working with people is we want to create positive vibes. We want to create an exceptional customer service moment. People remember those and people are more humble and willing to be flexible if they feel like you have put their interest ahead of maybe your rules or your interest. Does that make sense? So in the future, if you work with people in any role, think of a way that you can say yes before you say no. How you can say yes under these conditions, I'd totally be fine with you doing that, right? And if they can't make that work or circumstances can't make that work, then that's really on them to decide how to respond to it, okay? That's my story, I'm sticking to it, and you know what, what a great little training we had there out in Cincinnati, Ohio. Anyway, I wish you the very best. I hope this was meaningful to you. If you like this, hey, do me a favor, subscribe or like or comment or share, I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to have you a part of the Unleash Your Greatness Within community. Check us out. All right. I wish you the best. Now go out there and unleash your greatness within.